The BladderScan i10 system by Verathon is an ultrasound device that delivers trusted accuracy for every user when measuring the volume of urine in the bladder. Powered by ImageSense artificial intelligence technology, the BladderScan i10 system draws on real-world data to consistently detect and define bladder location, size, and shape across all adult and pediatric patient types and anatomies automatically within seconds. In this video, we will introduce the BladderScan i10 system and explore each step in using it. Press the power button to start the system. The BladderScan i10 system features a large console display with intuitive graphics that guide you through each step of the exam. Adjust brightness and volume by tapping the icons at the top right of the screen. Tap the tutorial icon at any time to watch a step-by-step -step guide to using the BladderScan i10 system. Or consult the included quick reference card. The BladderScan i10 ultrasound probe is designed to fit comfortably within your hand. The system pairs with a robust workstation that allows you to quickly dock and undock the probe. The workstation's 360-degree handle lets you easily maneuver and position the system. The optional printer provides immediate access to hard copy printouts of exams. And the storage bin features an adjustable divider so you can organize all your essential supplies. The quiet glide wheels roll smoothly and lock in position when you are ready to start an exam. Finally, the BladderScan i10 system can be recharged between uses by connecting the power cord to an AC power outlet. When you are ready to use the BladderScan i10 system, check the battery status on the screen. If your battery is low, you can replace it with an optional spare battery. Each battery has a charge level indicator that you can press to check its status. Now you're ready to prepare for the exam. When you enter the clinical room, have the patient lie in the supine position and move the bladder scan system next to the bed. Position the bladder scan i10 system where you can comfortably extend the probe to the patient and see the console. Secure the workstation by locking the wheels. Do not plug the workstation into the wall. You can only perform the exam while on battery power. You can scan from either side of the patient. For this video, we will be scanning from the patient's right side. You can enter patient identification and your operator identification by using the on-screen keyboard. Urinary bladders are typically located just above and behind the pubic bone, in the midline of the body. Palpate to locate the pubic bone. Approximately two to four centimeters above the pubic bone along the midline is the target area where you will place the probe. Ultrasound waves have a difficult time traveling through air. With medical devices, a thick ultrasound gel is used to reduce air gaps between the patient's skin and the ultrasound probe. It is important to use an ample amount of gel between the skin and the probe tip. Apply gel to the probe tip or abdomen. A single-use 20-gram packet provides ample gel for use with most patients. After the gel is applied, you should have a thick mound on the abdominal target area, approximately the size and shape of a golf ball. You will want to have flexibility to make adjustments during the exam. When you undock the probe, avoid wrapping the cable around your arm or hand. Instead, allow the cable to fall along the length of your arm. Place the tip of the probe on the target area of the abdomen. Make sure the tip is completely surrounded on all sides by the ultrasound gel. Check the human figure on the top of the probe. Verify that the figure is oriented in the same direction as the patient's body. Tap the screen if you need to change the orientation. Align the probe so that the midline marker is lined up with the midline of the patient's body. Factors such as age, body mass, abdominal distension, and individual anatomy can influence the size and location of the bladder. While typically the bladder is located on the midline of the body, the bladder may be shifted left or right. Depending upon the degree of fullness of the bladder, it may extend upwards towards the umbilicus. Typically, you will only need to apply a gentle amount of pressure with the probe. When scanning high BMI patients, the bladder is located deeper within the body and you may need to use additional pressure. When scanning a very slim adult or child, you may need to reduce pressure to avoid displacing the bladder margins beyond the ultrasound view. Probe aiming or patient movement may cause the gel to spread out during the exam and introduce air gaps. Apply more gel if needed. Monitor the thickness of the gel in the target area and ensure the probe tip remains covered on all sides. The bladder scan system features pre-scan aiming to assist you in locating the bladder. 
press the scan button on the probe or tap the screen to start aiming. Imagine the probe is a flashlight with light shining from the tip and the beam penetrating into the body. From your starting target area on the abdomen, angle the probe so the beam shines downward toward the bladder. On the bladder scan screen, fluid in the urinary bladder appears black, while other solid tissue and organs appear gray. A vertical line shows the center of the aiming area on the screen. A moving green outline called bladder track shows the contours of the bladder as it comes into view. Using the vertical line as a guide, angle the probe or make small adjustments in probe placement until the bladder image is centered on the screen. Once the image is centered, you can optimize it by tilting the probe towards the head or feet. As you tilt, the green bladder track outline will track the bladder contours and the bladder image will change size. Tilt in each direction along the midline until you see the largest bladder outline come into view. With the image optimized, press the scan button on the probe or tap the screen. The probe begins scanning the bladder and you can feel some vibration. The scanning process takes just a few seconds. Hold the probe still until the screen indicates scanning is complete. Lifting or moving the probe during the scan will result in an inaccurate measurement. After the scan is complete, a top-down view of the bladder and a volume number are displayed on the screen. If the scan was successful, both the bladder and volume number appear colored in green. The bladder image will be shown fully in view and at the center of the crosshairs. If the bladder image is shown in a far corner, off-center of the crosshairs, consider repeating the scan to optimize the result. If the bladder and volume number appear colored in yellow, the bladder volume has not been fully measured. The system also displays a greater than symbol before the volume number to indicate that the actual bladder volume may exceed the displayed result. If a gray area appears below the bladder image, the pubic bone was inside the field of view. The pubic bone may have obscured a portion of the bladder during the scan. If the bladder appears yellow and a greater than symbol appears, repeat the scan and make adjustments during aiming. Press the probe button or tap the screen to scan again. When you perform a series of scans, the bladder scan system displays both the current volume and the largest volume measured in the series. Tap the scan history arrow to review any of the last five scans in the exam. For more detail, you can press the B mode icon to scroll through pairs of individual ultrasound images that were captured during scanning. Typically on good scans, the green bladder outline is completely visible in all images of the bladder. If the bladder was not in full view during the scan, some of the individual images may show an edge of the bladder clipped off or the bladder image may be missing. If the volume number is yellow, scan again to improve the results. The bladder scan system stores the largest volume as the final exam result. When you are done and ready to record the results, tap the screen to exit the exam. You can review saved exams from the home screen. Dock the probe while you clean the ultrasound gel from the patient. Disinfect the probe and allow it to air dry. Clean the probe cable, console, and workstation surfaces. The Bladder Scan I-10 system is compatible with many hospital cleaners and disinfectants. Check the Operations and Maintenance Manual for a complete list of approved chemicals. When you're ready to chart the exam result, press the Saved Exams button on the console and select the correct scan. You can press the barcode icon to display the exam results as a barcode. Press the print icon to get a printout of the results, or export the results in PDF and graphic formats to a USB drive. Once you're done transferring the results, return the bladder scan I-10 system to its normal location and plug it into an AC outlet to recharge its battery. Now, the system will be ready for next time. If you're a clinical engineer, the Bladder Scan I-10 system makes setup, maintenance, and troubleshooting easy. For complete product information, please view the Operations and Maintenance Manual located at Verathon.com. This video introduces the Bladder Scan I-10 system. If you need additional assistance, Verathon provides comprehensive customer care. 
product documentation, on-site training, and global technical support. Visit Verathon.com for more information.